Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for May 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your month, yes? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the description box below. Just let me know a little bit about what you'd like some clarity on and I will help you get set up, yeah? So energies are fluid, time is an illusion. So um, if this doesn't resonate with you right away or in the beginning of your month, either it's maybe not a message for you or maybe come back at the end of the month and see how it may resonate then, yeah? Um, 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 um. So I'm keeping it a little bit the same, but also a little bit different this month. I'm starting with the uh, general messages from the Tarot, and then I'm moving your Oracle guidance back to the end of the reading. But uh, instead of using the Oracle of the Unicorns this month, I decided to go with the Crystal Mandala deck in order to gain some a little more clear and concise. Whoa, ringing in the ear. Whoa, whoa. Wow. Um, Crystal Mandala deck to give you some sort of some more clear, focused guidance. Yeah? All right. I believe that's it. Let's get started, Libra. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Librans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for May 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. So Libra, at first I have to say, um, as I was channeling, starting to channel your energy, I got really, really warm. Um, and I feel like what that is saying is like your guides or your angels, your ancestors, your guardian angels or whatnot, they're very close to you at this time, all right? Um, also, as soon as I stepped into your energy, it just felt caring, compassionate, loving, just so sweet and balanced and harmonious and so compassionate. Um, it was really kind of beautiful. Uh, the Queen of Cups did come out as a, uh, a flyer, which was corroborating or confirming that compassionate, loving energy. Um, but I do, I kind of feel like this month or at least this time period that you find yourself in, in which I'm channeling for and the message is coming through this month, um, is very much a time for self-care, self-healing. Uh, you did have the Nine of Pentacles. There was the Ten of Wands that came out. Um, the Lovers. The Nine of Swords and some other stuff. But it, all it was really saying to me was that you're you're in an energy right now where you need to just be working on balancing yourself out. Some of you may have gone through a breakup recently. You are recently single. Um, I, did I mention that the Ace of Cups came out? The Ace of Cups did come out. Um, but again, this is all really feels like in terms of self-love, finding an, a, a balance within, a divine union within, filling your own cup, that kind of thing, okay? especially if you're coming out of a breakup um, or you're newly single or you're finding a new sense of independence, autonomy within your life, that kind of energy. Yeah, Libra? All right. So I'm going to give this three shuffles and then we will get into your messages for the month of May for my Librans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, May 2019. Two more shuffles here, guys. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Best messages, please, Spirit, for the month of May 2019. One more shuffle. For my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. May, tw May 2019. Yep. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Boop. All right. Overall energy, Libra. Woo. The Ten of Swords. So funny, I just did the Virgo reading right before this one and they got the same exact card in the very same position. Ten of Swords. So you're leaving some sort of situation behind. Um, it's finally come to a close. The, it, it's come to a head like the pimple that has been there for ages now has a head and you can pop it or it's been popped and <laughs> now you're just waiting for it to heal up. Okay. That's kind of what this feels like here. 
Two of Pentacles. I do feel like there is a big change for some of you in terms of this situation. Whether it's a fact that you've just been in a relationship for a long time and you're learning how to be independent again, um, or maybe you're, I, I, the first thing I felt was that there was a physical change in maybe like residency. Um, maybe it could be even, even so small as like how you get somewhere, like maybe how you get to work or like a normal route that you take, uh, that you've taken, I don't know, for years maybe, or just an extended period of time has now changed. There's some sort of physical balance you're having to work on in your life having to do with this ending here, the 10 of swords. Okay. There's that underneath the two of pentacles. You have that ace of cups, Libra. Look at that, y'all. Mm -hmm. Self-love. And that's really where the balance is act, the balancing act is coming in here for you. Your emotions really could be all over the place right now, Libra. Especially with the queen of cups that came out in the, the pre-shuffle. Yes, there is definitely a deep sense of compassion, unconditional love, empathy, maybe even strong clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient, uh, 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 just strong intuitive ability. Um, but you're also needing to learn to love yourself again or love yourself through, learn to love yourself through this process or a process like this. And oh my goodness, look at that. The nine of pentacles came back out again too. So yes, some of you are recently single. Also recently or moving into a new environment, um, a new job, a new position. Maybe you got a promotion. Maybe you actually did move. Um, some of you, someone here has moved states. Like you're in a completely new state, completely new surroundings. And you're trying to find the balance here. All of this is in terms of serving self-love here. Ace of cups, divine love. Okay, unconditional love for the self, filling your own cup. And you're really needing to, because I don't know what this Ten of Swords represents, but it is kind of scary. Not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, so getting into the first half of your reading here. Now, you can look at this reading as the first half and the second halves of your month. If that resonates with you, by all means, please go ahead and do that. However, I recommend that you don't look at it that way. I recommend that you just take whatever the messages that come through are, take them for what they are, and just allow them to fall wherever they fall in your life. So that's another recommendation as to why you might want to come back at the end of the month and re-watch the video to see if there are some things that actually did end up resonating with you. And now with the messages that's coming through, hearing it from the other end of the spectrum, it might make a little more sense, okay? First set of surrounding energies for you, Libra. We've got the Three of Cups. There's definitely a celebration here. I do feel like there's this relief and I'm hearing the worst is over. Like it's a big old sigh of release. Relief, excuse me, with this Ten of Swords. But it absolutely is also a release as well. You may be congratulating yourself. You may be celebrating with friends. Like you finally got yourself out of there. That's kind of what I'm seeing. Um, like the girls or the guys or just like the, the crew getting together to celebrate some, some something having come to an end and now someone is finally able to move on in a new direction, in a new light. Three of Cups is coupled with, ooh, the Four of Cups. So where someone is, is um, interesting, two things. One, two major things. One, where someone is celebrating, someone is feeling a loss, someone is feeling rejected. Um, but also this celebration could be finally getting out of a situation in which there was unrequited love. There was a missed opportunity and it really could be that this missed opportunity, whoever's feeling this missed opportunity might have been the one that re was rejecting the offer to begin with. The other person that has finally decided to stop offering their cup of love to someone that doesn't want to accept it and instead give that love to themselves, Ace of Cups. The other person is kind of like, well, shit. I fucked up or well, damn, I don't have that. I don't have that, that attention, that source of attention any longer. And if that's the case, honey, boo boo child, you need to keep on stepping because obviously they were nothing but an attention, an attention grabbing energy vampire, period, period, end of story. And I could totally see how you being the Libra in here, 
uh, if this is resonating with you in this way, or maybe the Libran was the one that was just the energy vampire, but I could see how a Libran would give this person or give somebody the benefit of the doubt over and over and over again just in order to keep the peace. I totally get that, but I really kind of feel like Libra or whoever this is, you're learning that lesson, at least, at the very least, with this person. Not to say that you may not experience this again and learn something deeper about it, but at least in this situation, somebody got it. And there's a celebration because that's no longer a part of their lives any longer. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in your first half of your reading, you have now the Page of Cups. Okay, I am hearing, I'm sorry, I'm hearing some sort of, there need, there's a desire for some sort of reconciliation. Now, well, the other thing that I'm getting here, though, is like the start of something brand new. Now you have the space, the time, the energy to dream of something that you truly want. Now that you have gone through a bit of contrast, you have a greater um, foundation to dream from to bring something new and better into your life. Page of Cups is coupled with, ooh, chow, the Queen of Swords. There you are, Libra. This is your archetype. Uh, it could be another air sign, though, uh, Aquarius or Gemini. Um, but I really feel like this Queen of Swords is absolutely coming to bat for the Page of Cups energy, the dreamer energy, cutting away anything that would keep you from being able to dream about your ideal situation or what you want to do next. Now, conversely, there could be a situation in which someone wants to reconcile and the Queen of Swords just may not be having it. And it may not be that she's not having it. It's just that she's very straightforward, very cutthroat, I guess you could say. But she does not want to have her time wasted. And especially if this is someone that's coming back from the past that was giving you this unrequited love type of energy. It's like, who, what, why are you trying to step to me now? Like, she may be cutthroat in that sense, like, really reading you the riot act because, like... You put me through X, Y, and Z for X amount of time, and now you want to come back and reconcile and say you're sorry? Now that I finally got my independence back, you want to step to me with this bullshit? Get the fuck up out of here, man. Who the fuck do you think you are? That's the type of energy that's coming from this Queen of Swords. So yes, she might be quite cutthroat, but she has a reason for it. Period. <laughs> okay. Moving forward. Hey, Libra. So... I hate it when this happens, but halfway through the reading, my microphone died. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of good stuff that came out. So I'm not trying to scrap this reading. Um, I want to do it for you. So I'm going to do my best to recap everything that I missed out audio wise in the beginning of the reading. But so we're cutting, we, we, we got to um, the, the queen of wands, the challenge in the first half of your reading, which is the queen of wands and the three of wands. And um, someone, so someone really, the challenge here is that th and the way I was picking this up in the moment was that this challenge is more for whomever is on the opposite end of Libra's, uh, of the situation. So you have one person that's kind of like been dealing with, that's kind of like celebrating from releasing themselves from some sort of unrequited love situation while the other one is kind of like now feeling the pinch. But the person that's come out of it, that was the one giving the love and all that has now come out much more confident and sure of themselves and is very much goal oriented potentially. And so it's very challenging, not only just for the person that may want to come back and reconcile, but anyone else that may want to come into that, into the, the, into your life or whatnot, it's going to be challenging for them to really even get through because, um, this person that's represented by this queen of wands with the three of wands here is very goal oriented, um, knows what they want, very much sure of themselves, very much in control of their lives, very much um, confident and, and sure and, and feeling beautiful and whatnot and, pro and is quite beautiful, very attractive, very magnetic. Um, so it, it could even be that you like, people are buzzing around you now and so you're getting a whole lot more attention here, okay? Um, but the challenge is now, for others, some t for some of you, the the challenge really could be in um, regaining your confidence and getting back on the horse. But that's not that's not the biggest thing. And actually, I didn't pick that up until just now. The the, the main thing that I got the first time I did this was that um, 
someone has come out on top and they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. Okay. The closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, you have strength. Okay. So, uh, quelling the beast or taming the beast within finding balance within. Okay. Really finding balance within, which we'll see further moving forward, but, um, really finding balance and just finding that strength to move on, to hold your center, you know, to, 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 be true to who you are. And with that, coupled with that is the nine of cups. So um, wish fulfillment, yes, but satisfaction. Feeling satisfied with yourself, feeling good that you've really, you've accomplished something, maybe something that you really have been trying to work on for a long time. Well, you got it now, okay? Cool. So now getting into the second half of your reading here, First set of surrounding energies, you have the Seven of Pentacles, all right? And so the Seven of Pentacles is talking about lessons learned, reaping what you've sown. Um, and that is coupled with the Eight of Swords. So what was coming through with that at that moment was like, okay, you have this one person that's come out on top and really has learned their lesson. But then you have this other, you have this other energy here where it's like someone is stuck in some sort of cycle in... Uh, feeling trapped in some sort of victimhood or victim mentality. But the only way that you're really going to get out of that is if you, in your fact, it, you yourself cut yourself free. Um, I'm really so sorry that the, that my mic died because the way I explained this the first time was really super awesome. But um, I'm kind of just recapping at this point. But, you know, you can't, you can't expect someone else to learn your lessons for you or to come save you all the time. Because if you do, like you, it's like having people wipe your ass for you. And this is what I said the first time. It's like, how are you going to learn how to effectively wipe your own ass if you always have other people doing it for you? And that's what someone is saying here. And it's potentially the person that really has um, come out on top from this situation, whatever this 10 of swords represents for you, Libra. But whoever has come out on top here, that's kind of what they're saying. It's like, okay, well, if you want to, I mean, if you want to reconcile, if you want to start over, great, let's do it. But but we're not going to do this again if you haven't learned your lesson. If you haven't learned the lesson that you were meant to learn here, then it's just going to be the same thing over and over again. And I'm not having that, period. I'm just not doing it. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, you have the Eight of Cups with the Chariot. So someone is really leaving something behind. Very much leaving something behind. You have Cancerian energy here. You could be dealing with a Cancer. There could be Cancer in your chart. But someone has absolutely cut themselves free. Seven of Pentacles, learn the lesson. Uh, I'm sorry, cut themselves free with the Eight of Swords, learn the lesson with the Seven of Pentacles, which is why they are able to really effectively cut themselves free. And now they're moving on, leaving the past behind them, or at least leaving something behind them. And in the case of a reconciliation, yes, you can leave the past behind you, but you have to get to this state that's represented by the chariot, which is the balance of masculine and feminine, light and dark, integrating your shadow, doing your shadow work, balancing your emotions, taking responsibility for your life, showing up for yourself and for the others around you and getting going. And that's what someone here is doing. They are just leaving shit behind without a care in the world because they have a greater sense of balance within themselves, okay? Your challenge in the second half of the reading here, you have death, transformation. Could be Scorpio energy, but this is fantastic. Now, this is a challenge because for some of you out there, you're needing to gain a new perspective because death is coupled with the Four of Swords, okay? So change in perspective. The change in perspective is what's going to help you go through this transformation. Now, for some of you, this does this really does feel like we've, in the second half of the reading here, we've gone from, we've split the 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 group some of you are on this side of you know you've got a good grasp on things you've balanced out you're moving forward and then others of you are still kind of in this mental prison here it could be the libran or it could be someone that was connected to the libran potentially the person that was that was not accepting some sort of offer here with the four of cups that now they realize they've missed out on 
they've missed an opportunity here. But uh, there is a need, a change for perspective, a change in perspective to really let this death happen. And so for some of you, it's this is a really easy transformation, a transition. For others of you, it's a little bit difficult. And so the um, the advice here is to meditate. Okay, go within, relax, calm your mind, work on resting uh, and gaining some sort of new perspective. Okay. Okay, and then finally, closing out the reading here uh, for the Tarot, the closing message or potential outcome here is you, Libra, justice. And what I was picking up on um, in the, the first time I did the reading was, it's so beautiful that you came out the way this way you did here, Libra, because it's like throughout all of this, either you have gained this balance or you have the opportunity to really gain this balance here. But... Um, Justice is like you coming into balance with yourself, have, being in balance and harmony within yourself here. And then coupled with that, just to drive it on home, you have judgment. I mean, it's like such a beautiful ending to this reading, Libra. Um, you've come into a greater sense of balance. Justice is being served in your life. And as a result, you're ascending. You're going through an awakening process. You're seeing things differently. Okay. I mean, that's such an excellent way to end this reading. Especially in terms of what we started out with, with the Ten of Swords. It's so beautiful, Libra. Okay, and then I did close out the reading with a Crystal Mandala card. I'm so sorry, you guys, that this, ha that this happened this way. You know that I, I would prefer that you guys see me draw the cards. But the card you got is card number 49. Goddess Maya and Ruby Aura Quartz, Searing Presence. And what I was saying about that was... Um, in numero numerologically speaking, card number 49 boils down to a 13, which is the number of death here in the major arcana. And then 13 boils down to a four. And you happen to have card number 13 and the four of swords in your challenge. I thought that was really cool. So it's all connected. <laughs> okay, but let me read this for you. Okay, Libra. Card number 49, Goddess Maya and Ruby Aura, Aura Quartz, Searing Presence. We bring you the empowerment of Searing Presence. This empowerment enables you to see truth unveiled, naked divinity in all its beauty and mystery. In your willingness to become present, you shall witness the truth that will set your spirit free and make your heart come alive with divine love. No lie, deception, fear, or agenda remains hidden in searing presence, the ruthless compassion of which distills pure truth. With this empowering, you are going to see what you need to see. You are going to be able to see the truth that there is only ever love seeking to free, heal, and discover itself. You will feel the grace that permeates your life and assists all beings, all impatience, Doubt, uncertainty, and confusion shall give way, becoming soft like wax melted by a lit candle, and only the beautiful light of truth shall remain. Excellent. So there you have it, Libra. Hopefully that was helpful. I apologize for the, the way the second half of this reading turned out. I'm really getting fed up with this freaking microphone. But whatever, I'll figure it out. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great month. Much love to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the description box below. I hope you guys have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of June. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.